Hi, I'm Tom Brantley with Mojo Musical Supply. Today I'm going to show you how to rewind a Burns Trisonic pickup from a Baldwin Double Six. This is one of the more challenging pickups to rewind due to the lack of a bobbin, or an air coil as they're sometimes called. I could make another coil, but I find them harder to deal with than building a bobbin from scratch. Also, some future pickup winder will be thankful. We'll build this from Mojo True Glue, a Mojo True Glue Accelerator, and a plain manila folder. The first step is to measure our available space for the center of the bobbin. We have about 250 here. I'll transfer the measurement to two different spots on the paper. Then I'll use my straight edge to mark the cut. It's important to cut this accurately for a true even bobbin. Now I'll take the frame and wind the strip around the magnets. We want to overlap here for stability and to be able to remove material later if needed. I'll add a drop of true glue to the tag end and a quick spray of accelerator to hold it down. Now I'll add another drop between the layers and another spray of True Glue Accelerator. Be careful not to apply too much as you have to start over and do some cleaning if you do. Now I'll slide the center up on the magnets. Lay a strip of plastic packing tape down on a flat working surface. Cut a small rectangle of manila paper slightly larger than the bobbin. Flood the surface of the paper with true glue and disperse it evenly. Take the frame with the center elevated above the magnets and place it on the wet glue. Another shot of true glue accelerator here. A few moments later and the top of your bobbin is complete. Use a thin chisel to pop the dried bobbin from the packing tape. Now take a second small rectangle of manila paper and flood it again. Spread evenly and apply the bobbin bottom. More true glue accelerator and our first step is complete. Here you see that we need to remove the center to allow the magnets to pass through. This is a method I use to remove the material. It is dangerous, and if you are not comfortable with your fingers being close to spinning blades, do not attempt it, or it may be a while before you play guitar again. I use a roto zip bit and my drill press as a router. Remove small portions of the material. Take your time. No need to be too fine here. We'll clean up the edges later. Measure your gap for the edge of the bobbin and transfer it to the edge. Sand away the excess material. The paper will flare on the top and inside. I sand the top away flush.
Now we will file away the interior flare. Go carefully here as the bobbin is delicate. The better this edge is cleaned, the easier it will be to wind. Now we'll clean up the interior edge. Use a rat tail file to ease some material from the ends. Use a mill file to flatten the long straight edges. Time to wind. This is a pretty expensive machine. So look for future videos on home-built winders. I'll put about 6,000 turns of 44 gauge plain enamel wire on this. We'll have the half pound spools available soon. 44 is an extremely delicate wire to work with and it takes some practice. Here you'll see the derailleur laying the wire down. I'll cover the coil in our 3M 260 tape. It's designed specifically for coil overuse and won't corrode or interact with our wire or solder joints. I like to use two layers here. You'll need to sand the enamel finish from the wire. If you make these connections to the pickup leads without doing so, you may have a cold solder joint in the future. I'll add two more small pieces to isolate the solder joints and a final wrap to pin the leads down for stress relief. With the trisonic, I also cross the leads at the end to prevent them from pulling out. Work done. Complete. Finish. Finito. The end.